Welcome to the FluidSim video tutorials. In this video, we will explain the first steps to set up the FluidSim License Manager for managing your licenses. In another tutorial, we showed that with your FluidSim 365 license, you can use all variants of FluidSim. Here, we will specifically look at how to create a new License Manager account with your license, so that your students can use both the web version and the Windows version of FluidSim by logging in with a group name and password. To follow the subsequent steps, you will need your FluidSim 365 license ticket and a working internet connection. The FluidSim License Manager is currently a pure Windows program and is included in the installation of FluidSim 6. After installing FluidSim 6, you can access the License Manager via the Windows Start menu by clicking on the Windows icon in the taskbar, entering License Manager in the search field, and clicking on the corresponding search result. When starting the License Manager, a connection to the license server is established, and then the login dialog is displayed. If you do not yet have a License Manager account, you can create a new account using your license ticket. To do this, click on the link Create New Account. Here, please enter a username and a secure password for the new account. The username can be chosen freely, as long as it is not already used for another account. You can use, for example, the name of your school or your email address as a username. Finally, enter the ticket number of your license ticket in the last input field. Once all the entries have been made, the new account can be created by clicking on Create New Account. Click OK, and the username and password will be automatically transferred to the login dialog. With the option Remember My Credentials, you can control whether the password should be saved on the current computer. Click OK to log in with the new License Manager account. Upon successful login, the main window of the License Manager will appear. During the first login on a computer, the program settings will be displayed automatically. Here, you can adjust the program language if needed and make various settings for the integrated chat with users. If all settings are fine, confirm the dialog with OK. You can access these settings later at any time through the Tools menu. In the main window of the License Manager, you will see the user groups on the left side, the users of a group on the right side, and the available online licenses at the bottom. In this example, the license ticket used to create the License Manager account contains 10 licenses for FluidSim pneumatics, valid until March 2026. By clicking the Manage Licenses button, you can access an overview of the currently assigned license tickets to the account. Here we can see the FluidSim pneumatics licenses that we use to create the account. You can add additional license tickets, for example, for other technologies, to the License Manager account using the Add Ticket button. To demonstrate this, we will enter another license ticket with licenses for the technology hydraulics and add it to the current account. The licenses from the license ticket have been added and are now also available as online licenses. To give your students access to these licenses, we need to create a user group. To do this, click on Add. Here, enter a name and a password for the new user group. You can choose the group name freely as long as it is not already in use. This combination of group name and password is all your students need to log in to FluidSim. Click OK to create the new group. The newly created group is now active and can be used for login in FluidSim. We would like to demonstrate this directly by accessing the web version of FluidSim. Here we enter the group name and password of the user group we just created. By clicking Login, we log into the group, enter our name, and can select which technologies to start. If we return to the License Manager and click on our group, we can see that the user demo 1 is currently logged in. The login with group name and password works the same way in the Windows version FluidSim 6 as it does in the web version. After starting FluidSim 6, a corresponding login dialog will automatically appear, where the group name and password can be entered along with the display name. At this point, 
We would like to mention that the license manager does not need to be running for your students to log in to the group. We are just keeping it open to illustrate the principle of license allocation. If we switch back to the license manager, we can now see both logins in the group and that one license each for pneumatics and hydraulics from the web and Windows version is currently being used. Each new group initially has no restrictions regarding its duration and the available licenses. Therefore, all currently available licenses are initially accessible to the users of the group. If you want to restrict this, you can limit the validity of the group using the Set Expiration button. Set access to specific weekdays and times using the Schedule button. and restrict the available licenses or technologies using the Quota button. Through the License Manager, you thus have complete control over your licenses at all times and can deploy them flexibly. If we close the Windows version and log out of the web version, the licenses will be released and will be available again shortly thereafter. This was a quick overview of the first steps in using the FluidSim License Manager, for more information, see the License Manager User Guide. Thanks for watching.